Hi guys, welcome back to Just the Matthew. So on this video, we will tackle about a rare defense from the black perspective, and it is the so-called Fred defense, which starts with the moves of e4 and f5 for black, in which the black here intends to sacrifice his pawn on f5 for a cost of rapid development. So here the white can actually place d3 and tries to sacrifice his pawn for example after f takes e4 net c3 again trying to regain his pawn deficit with the development on c3 but after e takes d3 and bishop takes d3 we shall see in this position now that the white here is actually a pawn down but the white here has a rapid development with the knight and bishop so here the black should play knight f6 but if the black here plays knight c6 tries to develop his other knight on the c file but after queen takes h5 we shall see in this position now that the light square diagonal from h5 to a8 is actually weakens after the pawn move of f5 so after queen h5 with a check for the white and after g6 covering the check for against this queen because on this position the only defense against the check of the queen is the cover so after g6 a cover but still there is simple sacrifice of queen after queen takes g6 check and after h takes g6 there is a checkmate after bishop takes g6 checkmate in just 7 moves so the white here wins instantly against the fred defense by sacrificing his pawn on the e4 but for example just a recap after e4 f5 the fred defense and after d3 the black trick can actually grab that pawn after f takes e4 because after net c3 again the black trick can go for a sacrifice pawn because for example after e takes d3 bishop takes d3 the black here has a resourceful defense after knight f6 covering the h5 because after knight d5 in which the black here should not play knight takes to d5 because it leaves out his defense on this diagonal because after queen h5 again it is still the same after g6 a sacrifice of queen and after h takes g6 bishop takes g6 checkmate so after on this position after knight d5 by white the black here should not play knight takes to d5 because it leads to a radical checkmate so the black here should instead play e6 to attack the knight on d5 because after knight takes f6 queen takes f6 queen h5 there is a simple g6 and the g6 pawn has an equal attack and defense so there's no worry and again this king has a lot of escaping square so after queen f3 there is simple queen takes f3 and after knight takes f3 and bishop g7 although the white here achieves a rapid development but still the black here has a material advantage by having an extra pawn on e6 so going back for example after e4 e5 and again after d3 the white here can immediately grab that undefended pawn on f5 with the red defense because after e takes f5 again the black here should not play knight c6 on this position because there is again a simple queen h5 a weakness on the h5 to e8 diagonal and after queen h5 check g6 f takes to g6 bishop to g7 stopping that idea that there is a discovery check and a fork on g7 and after bishop g7 but there is g takes h7 check a discovery check on this position and after king f8 h takes g8 equal to queen with the check and after king takes g8 and queen to g4 we shall see in this position now that the white here has a huge material advantage with extra pawn and knight so going back for example after e takes f5 for example if the white here accept that competed pawn but the black here will play immediately a move of knight f6 stopping first the queen h5 idea and if the white here insist that weakness on the h5 to a diagonal but there is rook g8 and after bishop h5 check but there is simple g6 and after f takes g6 h takes g6 and bishop to e2 again the black here achieves his main goal that 
he would sacrifice upon for a rapid development because after net c6 we shall see especially now that the black here is ahead of development even though the white here will try to cope up with development because after net f3 but there is simple e5 trying to control the center and after net c3 d5 and after d3 trying to develop his direct square but there is simple bishop d6 and after bishop g5 bishop g7 trying to develop also the dark square bishop of the black and after queen to d2 trying to castle on the queen side to connect his rooks but the black here can do the same after bishop g4 and after queen side castling queen side castling we shall see in this position now that the white here has an extra pawn but still it compensates for black because he has a two central pass pawn on the board that actually controls the center and with a huge attacking ideas later on. So to sum it up, it still leads to an equality on this position. So after e4 f5, this is a rare defense for black which is actually called the Fred defense. So that's all I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe.